John, writing under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, says this, Revelation 20, verse 11, Then I saw a great white throne, and him who sat on it, from whose faith the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged according to their works. I want to underline that. According to their works. By the things which were written in the books. The sea gave up the dead who were in it. Death and Hades delivered up the dead who were in them. And they were judged, each one. He repeats himself here, just in case you didn't get it the first time. According to his works. Here's the deal. You will either trust in your works, trust in yourself, or you're going to trust in the work of Jesus Christ. And, and you are welcome to trust in your own works, in your own efforts. You're, you're welcome to do that. But what God says in his word is that ultimately when you are judged, you will either be judged according to the work of Jesus Christ or you will be judged according to your own works. And if you want to be judged according to your own works, what you will find is that there is none righteous, no, not one. That the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. And you will find that if you're trusting in your works, you're going to be sadly mistaken. You will be judged. Some questions to consider as we close. Here's the first question. Are you a child of God? Do you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today? Listen, God has sent messengers into your life. I know it for a fact. And if you're here today and, and you... And you have either rejected those messengers or you have misunderstood the message. Let me be clear. The message is this. Your works will get you to the place of judgment and hell. The only thing acceptable to God is the work of Jesus Christ who died on the cross for your sins in your place. And so if you're here today thinking that somehow you're good, if my good works outweigh my bad works, then I can be right with God, you're sadly mistaken. Your salvation is in Christ and Christ alone. And so the question is, are you a child of God based on that? 